Hello, today I'm going to show you how to set up Cloudflare SSL on your WordPress multi-site uh, install with um, map domains. So I tried this out last night just as a test and it seemed to work very well actually. There was a few little problems to figure out but um, once they're figured out it just it works perfectly. So it's a bit different. I got a new webcam so I'll, I'll be down here in the corner and uh, yes I'm Canadian so bear with me. Um, first you're going to want a Cloud Cloudflare account uh, you can just sort of sign in, log in, set up an account, and once you're logged in, there'll be places to uh, add sites and things like that. So just log in here. Um, I'm with NetFirms for my domain name, so you're going to need access to your domain account, and you're going to need a multi-site install. So I have a, a multi-site install here. Now it's my my main sort of business. I, I installed a SSL certificate a while ago with uh, Komodo Rapid SSL with my host. But uh, since this is a multi-site install, I, I've been adding sort of little projects here and there that I that I have uh, with map domains. So the one I, I started, uh, I did a test with Cloud for last night was this domain I had sitting around for some marketing thing. I was whatever never is going to do. But uh, anyway, it was a good test to see that the HTTPS is working or HTTPS. Uh, if I go to the back end here, the dashboard, I might have to sign in since it's a different domain. No, there we go. So it's all under HTTPS as well. And this one is through Cloudflare. So um, you can see that it works no problem. So um, let's go through here. I'm going to pick another one called um, WP Digs here. Oh, it's because I'm going through a from the back end. So if we just go to the main account here and log in, you'll see that it's not it's not under SSL anyway. I, I have no SSL on this this subdomain uh, of my multi-site install. So let's go through and do that. Um, so first of all, we're going to go to Cloudflare. And once you're logged in, add a website. So I'm just going to add my website here. Uh, don't need the HTTP at the front, just or the backslash at the thing. And begin scan. Now it's going to bring up a little video here. Oh, actually it didn't do it. The first one I did, it had a little video showing it. Um, what they're doing. So they're basically just scanning the website and see if it's actually possible to set this domain up on your on uh, Cloudflare. So I'll just pause this for a second and uh, well I don't know what else can I talk about. <laughs> anyway we're seeing that it's scanning. So the next thing you're gonna want it I have NetFirms as my my host or my domain host so I'm just gonna go to my domains here and get this all ready to go because we're going to need that. Depending on your, your uh, domain host, you can, this might be different. So oh, here we go. So that'll probably be at the end because it starts with W. Five. Next. There it is. Okay. So we're going to want to have to change the name servers once Cloudflare is done with this. So scan is complete. Continue with the setup. And it's going to give you any sort of warnings, but all you basically want is make sure this A record and the, it says it's it's fine to go and the www is fine to go. So it'll, it'll be protected under the www and the, the root domain with Cloudflare. So we can just go down here and continue and it's going to tell us what to do. So you want a free website since this is just a personal blog. Basic security. Continue. And please visit your registrar. So we'll go back over here to NetFirms and you'll see that we have to change this and this. Now it took eight hours uh, for it to Oops, make sure that's right, RAM. No extra spaces in here. The end. 
and we'll save that. Now, like any domain change, it's going to take some time for the servers to work and for it to propagate over the internet. But since I've done that now, I'll just go continue back at Cloudflare and it's pending. So um, like I said, this took eight hours for it to do. It says allow up to 24 hours. So I'm not going to uh, wait that long. But what you can do is you can go to a uh, I like DigiCert. You can go to an SSL uh, checker and just see if the SSL is ready or not. So it's going to say no, it's not ready, uh, unable to connect. But you can see with my other one, Hostpress, uh, nice short domain name here, that it did resolve last night and everything is installed correctly. So let's continue on uh, with this domain name as it was. So once it was brought over, uh, I'll go on my dashboard here. I'll show you my, my sort of setup for my multi-site. So let's just go to the multi-site admin first because it won't It'll still just be regular HTTP. It's always fun when you're going from account to account. This is the main admin, so it wants me to sign in again. Uh, dashboard under settings here, we have domain mapping. Now, sort of have the mapped domains and you'll see I have this one here. So the, the one we're working on is this one. So you just want to make sure, see the original address. This is already, it's already recognized that Cloudflare wants to do something with it. So it's changed this over to HTTPS. Oh, sorry, never mind. That that's not that. That this that's over here. Ignore that. Let's do this first. Would you like under domain mapping, there's a setting here. It says for original domain, but it tends to go with the other ones as well. So force HTTPS and force login HTTPS. This setting you may have to play around with. You may have to have it on no or, or off. Uh, it's kind of a strange thing. This, I'm not sure if this domain mapping plugin is the best for working with HTTPS. I discovered that uh, the best one to use is one called SSL Insecure Content Fixer. Because with my host press marketing, when I first started with the SSL and I didn't have that plugin, it looked, when I came back to my site under SS, HTTPS SS, it looked like this. Basically, if we inspect it here, it told me that all my uh, style and JavaScript style sheets could not be loaded and it, it where they were blocked so basically your your site doesn't look very nice uh, but the insecure content fixer uh, fix that <laughs> so let's just go in here we'll set we'll go there and show you where that has to be uh, done so basically what what I did is I installed that plugin this and I just set it to um, uh, activate it on, on all domains. If I'm just showing here. Where's F fix? Is that what it does under? SSL. Do, do, do. There it is. So I just networked activated it, but you could activate it on individual sites if you wanted to. So let's go over here, back to the dashboard. And under settings, insecure content fixer. You'll see it actually, it's very, very good plugin. I just, it was automatically set to simple, but it's down here. It detects automatically that you want to use the HTTP X forwarded pronto. It's a load balancer because it actually 
is a Cloudflare. That's what Cloudflare is using, and it recognizes it um, immediately that it's Cloudflare. So you can just check that one and save. And basically, everything flipped over to HTTPS and, and worked fine, uh, the front and the back end. And uh, that was all I had to do. I, well, the other thing I had to do was clear my browser because <laughs> it still it still looked like this uh, until I cleared my browser. Then this turned green and everything was fine. So those were the only sort of hiccups I had was that I had to install this plugin and the play around a little bit with the settings under my domain mapping uh, here. Now, it's probably just something with this plugin. I've never been really happy with the domain mapping plugin, um, but but you have it here. And I also, actually this is where I was going earlier with this. I just clicked on this little key because this map domain, this is sort of like changing your blog URL. Um, I'll show you that as well to HTTP to HTTPS with a regular domain name. You, you change your blog URL and your uh, home URL. This sort of does it as well. If you just click on this key, this will flip from HTTP to HTTPS. Uh, you can also go in under your sites just to be double or triple check everything. Find your this one and edit it and make sure it's I'm not even sure. See, it's HTTP. It doesn't even really matter. I guess you could change this too. Let's see what that does. Let's see if that affects anything here. No, it's still fine. So there you go. Now, if you're on a single install, it's probably easier. You could just go in and do a bunch of um, change all the URLs through MySQL or something like that. But uh, using a multi-site and trying to go in with the through the database, you can run into a few problems. Specifically, you have a number of websites there, so you have to be very careful about doing a search and replace uh, on the database for just just for that. So I recommend using using that uh, plugin, the insecure content fixer to fix that problem and uh, Basically, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to go through and do all my um, all my little websites on here and give everybody a free SSL through Cloudflare. Um, pretty simple to do. So have a good day. Bye.